let's see if we can get one more video filmed before he wakes up from his nap. And yes, I'm not gonna change my outfit. I used to like pretend and change my top between videos, but we don't have time for that anymore. Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. So today I wanted to talk about what I pack when we travel with Theo because I would consider myself a minimalist or a more minimalist minded person. But things change when you have a baby, like they just come with more stuff. Even if you try to limit it, you're just packing for another person. He has this little like entourage of things, but I feel like it's pretty minimal, but maybe not. I would say it's balanced. So far we have gone on three trips, one night trips with Theo in a hotel, three weekends in a row. We went to Iowa City, we went to Kansas City, and then we went to Iowa City again. And we've got Got some trips planned coming up. We are going to England in December, which is obviously a big trip. We applied for his passport probably like two weeks ago, so I'm very excited to get that in the mail because his picture is just adorable. And passports last for five years, so when he's five years old, he's gonna have a passport photo from when he was like seven weeks old, which I think is the greatest thing ever. When we do get ready for that trip, I think I'm going to do like what I'm packing because I'm curious to see, because he'll be what, four months old at that point, to see what I pack pack and so I'll share what I pack for me and what I pack for him. I just love packing videos. And I think it's interesting with a kid involved, the baby involved. So if you guys want to see that video, give this video a thumbs up. But anyways, so far with like the little, little trips we've gone on, I wanted to share what I pack. And the things that I pack, I'll link down below and I'll put pictures of them up on the screen rather than actually going and getting them. I'm sorry, I just do not have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Obviously the usual clothes depending on the weather, but a couple extra because babies are messy and spitty and all that sort of stuff. Footy pajamas with zippers, snaps. I don't know why people put snaps on pajamas. I just do not get it. Diapers, plenty of pre-folds, covers, wipes, as well as my travel wet bag. I already know that when we do longer stretches of travel, like when we go to England, for example, I'm going to get disposable diapers for that trip. I'm going to look up, and you guys have recommended a couple brands, but disposable diaper, that's not as bad as some of the other ones out there, if that makes sense, because I don't want to ruin my cloth diapers trying to take them overseas with us and try to find a place to wash them every two days. Like it's gonna be more harm than good. And yeah, I just don't wanna ruin my cloth diapers. I have enough for like a two day trip a carrier so we have two carriers i actually have three i have a sling but i have a solly baby wrap and i have a ergo baby 360. i love each of them for like different reasons i really like the wrap carrier for like newborns and still at his age they're just so good for keeping them snug and close such a great way to like get stuff done around the house take with you if you're going to be going out to eat like i would just throw him in the wrap when we're going to a restaurant because then he's like happy and usually sleeping and i can eat and then we have the ergo baby which is great because both Michael and I use that, but we'll go on like hikes or that sort of stuff. It has better like back support, I would say. And so if you're gonna be doing it for a longer period of time where you're doing something physical, I recommend that one. But that one's also nice because it's easy for Michael to use as well. And he's used the wrap carrier, but I think the more structured carriers are easier for people to figure out. And that one will be nicer as he gets older because he'll grow out of the wrap carrier and already at two months, he likes to be facing out and seeing the world. Depending on the trip, I usually always just have the Solly baby wrap in my backpack. And then if we're gonna be going somewhere where it's a little bit more active, I will bring the Ergo baby as well. I will bring our stroller. If you're not somewhere where you need to like be carrying them, it's nice to have them in the stroller because then it just gives your body a break to be completely honest. A blanket we have a swaddle blanket that i usually have in my backpack for like breastfeeding or now that it's getting a little bit cooler i have a little bit thicker of a blanket that i'll bring to just put over him in his car seat bassinet so we specifically i specifically chose a bassinet travel crib situation that 
was suitable for people that travel quite a bit because we do between like races and just like traveling for fun and what have you and i wanted something that was going to be easy to like set up take down and not super heavy or like awkward to carry and so i wanted a good carrying case i wanted it to be small i wanted it to be something that we could bring on a plane with us so the one i ended up getting i got the bassinet attachment because that's what he sleeps in right now so it folds up into the size of a backpack the carrying case you can either it has handles or has backpack straps and it's the greatest thing and it weighs like 13 pounds i want to say but it's a guava lotus crib it's so nice to know that we can just like bring that with us it's a place that he's used to sleeping in that sense he should just sleep wherever i've only used it outside the house three times now and that was all before i took my like sleeping course and so i'm curious to see how it changes now that I actually know what I'm doing with him a little bit. A sound machine and its charger. The sound machine, sound machines are glorious. I got the Hush sound machine, but I wanted something that was portable and that thing goes everywhere with us. Like I do not leave the house without the sound machine. He sleeps with the sound machine. Great to just pop on if he needs to take a nap. It's something that you, you're creating these routines and habits like, oh, I'm getting swaddled. Oh, mom turned on the sound machine. Oh, mom dimmed the lights. Like it's time to go to sleep. Like I want to like create those habits and he's a noisy sleeper. So it helps me sleep better. An egg nightlight. I call it our egg nightlight, but it's not even, it's the Vava night light but it looks like an egg to me and i got it before he was born and i i love it portable you can charge it it lasts forever and so i have that next to me and him at night tap it on tap it off you can make it bright you make it dim and so it's easier than having clicking on your lamp that's super bright because you want to keep your lights dim at night when you're trying to get them sleep so i'd take that with us a swaddle so like i said i've learned so much in the past couple weeks in the past two months about just like sleeping and babies and everything so i would say a swaddle is such a beautiful crucial thing when it comes to sleep as well as a sound machine he fights the swaddle he like fusses and like throw a fit when you first swaddle him but he sleeps so much better swaddled so much better swaddled than he did before and I'm, I'm so happy i figured out how to do all that taking care of baby's newborn class this is not sponsored i just literally loved it that much and it just it's so simple and like once you take it and learn this stuff you're like oh this makes sense this isn't anything like too complicated or revolutionary but it was just great pacifiers he's finally figuring out pacifiers but especially for like road trips if he's getting fussy in the car in the car seat which he sometimes does if he's just kind of like over it or tired or like we need him to go 50 more minutes before i can feed him because we're almost there um pacifiers are great for that the two types of pacifiers he likes are the is it the philip avent soothe i don't know it's the classic one you see with the wubbinubs they're like the green ones i wish they weren't such obnoxious colors i wish they were like cuter colors and then i also got the bibs ones because i wanted cuter pacifiers but also these are great and he really likes them i will bring usually my silicone pump and a bottle we hadn't figured out a bottle with him yet but now we know you know the particular bottle he actually likes the ones that came with my spectra pump and finally breastfeeding snacks and a water bottle for me being hangry is not good i just get hungry and thirsty from breastfeeding having something to drink and something to eat i like eating stuff in the middle of the night as of now that's what i have packed for him up until this point he's two months old so he's starting to like not figure out toys but he's getting more curious he's looking at stuff he can see stuff he has like a little play mat gym that he likes to be under and look at and he kick around and that sort of stuff so as he gets older i'm obviously gonna have to bring different things whether it's like snacks or toys and that sort of stuff but so far that's what i packed to travel with theo and i will do I think I'm gonna do it. That what I pack for our trip to England with a newborn. I mean, he won't really be a newborn with a baby. He'll be a baby at that point. So he'll be like four months old. So I'll do that video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll link everything down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna follow along with more of me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.